I can have this moment for life. Yeah. Tyler, Texas, and I'm a singer-songwriter. I've been fortunate enough to work with um, Maya, Whitney Houston, uh, Nas, Jay-Z, Jennifer Lopez, Pink, uh, Chrisette Michelle. Uh, one of the things I'm very proud of, most proud of perhaps, is uh, working with Michael Jackson. And I learned so much working with all these people. You know, in addition, I'm talking about the artists that I work with, but when you work with artists on that caliber, you're also working with a lot of great musicians and a lot of great producers. And I've learned so much working with these people. Uh, I think that a little bit of what I've learned from each person can be found uh, all over my album. That's what my whole album is basically the sum of all the lessons that I've learned working with these amazing people. inspired by it you know it's places all over that I think are cool and inspirational but something about just going I don't know someplace else different country different atmosphere different culture just brings out new stuff in you I don't know I just recommend it maybe I could carry your books and you could wear my jacket in my experience and what I've been told um, a lot of times Europeans love oh, love the music and the, and the, um, the artists that come from America because the grass is always greener on the other side, you know? So they feel like it's something that's special that they can't get um, as easily um, as we can get over here. So they cherish it and they love it. And that's one of the things that's been really cool about me working with a lot of European, European musicians and artists is the fact that, you know, if I say that I want it to sound like the Rolling Stones meets Al Green, they know exactly what that sounds like. Sometimes if you work with, you know, some new uh, young artists in America, they have to go, you know, go on the internet to find out exactly what that sound is like. So I think it's just the grass is greener on the other side. Because there's so many artists that they have over there that I love with all my heart that they take for granted, so. I was going back and forth to Sweden writing songs for other artists and um, living a good life and made some good friends and had good people around me and um, I came back to America um, and had some songs that I had written you know and just let them do whatever they do planted some good seeds and before I knew it I got a call from a company in Sweden that heard the songs and wanted to do an album they said you know if you want to we can have you come out here and do a video and record some some songs and you know if you like the way we work together let's do an album and I took them up on it and the process has been great so far. Was that where I start? I don't have to sell my soul he's already in me I don't need to sell my soul He's already in me. 
AJ, how can I be too? Oh, it's the best audiences in the world. It's crazy. Um, uh, it was like an art installation for me. It's like you, you, you get a chance to create um, you get a chance to create this music kind of in a vacuum, you know, and it sounds good to you and it sounds good to your friends that you play it for, but it's nothing like performing it live right then and there. It's an instant reaction and it, and it, the reaction changes, I mean, well, my performance changes depending on the feedback I'm getting from the audience. And so we just created this wonderful thing together. It's the, my first performances in Europe changed my whole my whole life certainly changed my artistry and it certainly changed the direction that I want to go as a live performer because I like to touch everybody in some kind of way and they want to be touched it's cool When I met you at the liquor store, it was just so fine to me that I knew I had to catch you somehow. I should have left you at the liquor store, cause you ain't no good for me since you came into my life. What?